two goals. They couldn't have defended that well. You, you heard that cheeky, cheeky remark. They considered two goals. They couldn't have defended that well. Did you watch the game? Obviously, watch the game. I'm being rhetorical. This is this is what you have to look. see. He can't stand the fact that we defended well. Unfortunately, we considered two goals. Brilliant move from Slovenia to Haaland, scored the first goal, and they scored at the twilight of the game. But are we going to ignore that for 58 minutes with 10 men, Asna had a defensive masterclass? Like, are, are we going to ignore that fact? Like, see, I understand you don't like Asna. But the fact that you are in the Sky Sports studio and you are there being disingenuous about the fact that Asna defended well, you are saying, oh, because considered two goals, that means we didn't defend well. That is why I was arguing. Welcome and welcome back to the present. What is the threshold to be a, a pundit these days? Because if Roy Kane, who got his notoriety, not because he was a marvelous player, no, 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 no. He got his notoriety because he always had confrontations with a better player in Patrick Vieira that played for Arsenal. The threshold for punditry at Sky Sport or, or Talk Sport these days is just be a former Manchester United player. What Roy Kane had to say regarding the 2 2 draw at the 88 yesterday is just pathetic and farcical this is what we are subjected to listen to no wonder in recent development we are seeing sky sport begin to employ and bring in more content creators to their studio because the quote unquote unquote mainstream pundits are looking like clowns these days i understand tribalism in football I get it, Roy King is a Manchester United fan. Maybe some, some Manchester United fan consider him a legend in their right. But as a former manager and as a pundit, oh, Jesus Christ, this guy has no clue. Let's listen to what he has to say regarding the reason why M Manchester City drew against Arsenal. Let's listen. In the league, it mm. was just remarkable. Going and getting tight, dropping off spaces, organizing. Listen Gabriel carefully. Gabriel scoring a goal. We're talking about because when Gabriel came to to, to Arsenal, making a few mistakes on the ball, but he's sort of he's changed his game to be reliable every single week. Whether it's set pieces defending, fair use, fair set use. pieces attacking, his overall play, I just thought he was remarkable. They, conce they conceded two goals. They couldn't defend it that well. You, you heard that cheeky, cheeky remark. They considered two goals. They couldn't have defended that well. Did you watch the game? Obviously, watch the game. I'm being rhetorical. This is this is what you have to look. see. He can't stand the fact that we defended well. Unfortunately, we considered two goals. Brilliant move from Slovenia to Haaland, scored the first goal, and they scored at the twilight of the game. But are we going to ignore that for 58 minutes with 10 men, Arsenal had a defensive masterclass? Like, are, are we going to ignore that fact? Like, see, I understand you don't like Arsenal. But the fact that you are in the Sky Sports studio and you are there being disingenuous about the fact that Arsenal defended well, you are saying, oh, because considered two goals, that means we didn't defend well. That is why I've, I've been making this distinction and shouting all the time. Statistics can be misleading. Watch the game and be objective. Don't be, you, most of you are moronic. So, because we considered two goals, taking about taking with the nuances and the mitigating circumstances, that means Arsenal did not have a, a defensive masterclass show up yesterday. Those that watched the game, go and check X, who will tell you that was a defensive masterclass. Most teams don't survive that onslaught that Manchester City had against Arsenal for 58 minutes when Manchester City had 11 men v 10 men of Arsenal. And yes, some are right, he thinks that was not a defensive masterclass. Are we surprised why he couldn't make it as a manager at Sunderland, took them to relegation? Are we surprised why he fumbled and waffled and was a horrible manager as a, as a manager for Republic of Ireland? This is why. So arrogant in his ignorance. So arrogant in his ignorance. Like I said, he made his notoriety not because of a fantastic player. He made it because he was always confronting Patrick Vieira, who was a superior and a better player. Let's go to listen to what he had to say. They could they concede two goals. Yeah, against one of the, the best teams I've ever goals. seen in Premier League history. Yeah, but it has of, of course, yeah. Do you know what? Can I tell you? It, it has happened before where teams can get results with 10 men. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. when Mekano did on something like extraordinary. Yeah, but they did, though. They did.
See, it, it can't just come to, it can't come to terms that playing against a Manchester United, sorry, Manchester City team, the juggernaut, the best team in the in the, in the league, and you know what won four Premier Leagues uh, leagues. We played 10 v 11. He, he, you he can't say if that was Manchester United, I bet you his tone will be different. I don't read Roy Keane's opinion because he has no, he's not that, he's not the brightest person in the room. He has ever been. He tries off sound bites and being a contrarian. He is not a bright fellow. If you take away his white skin, he will not have a job at Sky Sport. Let's call it spade a spade. Take away his white skin, he's not getting a job at Sky Sports. I think the fact that they fall from Manchester United player. That is the that is how the buy is on the floor. Just be a Manchester United former player and be white, you will get a job at Sky Sports and all the, most of these uh, sports conglomerate. It is what it is. It just it is what it is. Yeah. Sorry. I, I, listen, Arsenal done well, but City were really poor. No movement, City no overlaps, poor. no underlaps. So it was more poor play from Man City than Arsenal's brilliant defending. Yeah, but how do you explain that? So it's more of City being poor than Arsenal defending yesterday. Did you guys watch this match? How do you, how can you come to terms that Roy Keane has the audacity to say it was not to, due to Arsenal defensive masterclass. It was because City were really poor. A City couldn't underlap. A City couldn't overlap. Who stopped City from underlapping and overlapping? It wasn't Arsenal's players. City were just not at the races. Did you watch this game? Did you watch the, did we watch the same game? <laughs> this is the level of punditry we are subjected to week in, week out. From, from Roy Keane. No. This is the level of punditry we are subjected to week in, week out. Saying, after we all watched yesterday's game, that it was Arsenal were not that great. Let's debase Arsenal. Let's take away all the plaudits Arsenal deserved and say, no, City were really poor. Mm. Arsenal didn't stop City. City were just poor. Roy Keane. And like I said, it's just... It, it just confirmed the, confirm the fact that just be a former Manchester United player and be white. Then you will get a job at, at, at Sky Sports. See, regardless of the fact that we, we're talking about you can see a bit of... Or, or, of darkness in the room in <laughs> Michael Richards doesn't change the fact. Mm, let's just put a bit of darkness so it doesn't mean you see it's not too bright. Let's put a bit of darkness. We know what you're trying to do that we are supposed to tolerate moronic punditry every weekend, every week, every week from likes of Gary Neville, Gallagher, and Roy Kane because they are former players of Liverpool and match United, even though well, they are all trances are absolutely diabolical, senseless. We all saw the game. City were brilliant, but has Arsenal provided a defensive masterclass. To counter that, it was a, 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 a clash of defensive masterclass and attacking progress. And guess what? The game ended in 2-2 draw. Even though most people argue City didn't deserve a point from that game. But it is what it is. So let me know what you think in the comment section regarding the analysis, the punditry of Roy Keane saying the reason why City couldn't win yesterday's game was because City were really poor, not the Arsenal's brilliance in defense. No, 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 no. Let's take away the no, 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 no. Arsenal were not brilliant defensively. City were just poor. Let me know. Do you agree with Roy Keane or do you think he's just waffling? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, on your way out, please. Be kind enough to strike the like button. Very, very important. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your notification bell. For those at the back, when you hear me the first time, please like the video. Very important. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Very important. And let me know what do you think? Was City really that poor or Arsenal had a master defensive stroke yesterday? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>